<laughs> there are new positions that I am going to take. I will start with the Vice Chairman. Sir. Uh, Mr. <coughs> Mr. President, Mr. Executive Director, uh, distinguished ambassadors, members of the staff of the South Centre. Um, well, somebody, I'm from the Caribbean, and somebody thanked me for bringing the sunshine today, but I wasn't able to bring the warmth. <laughs> um, so <laughs> I hope the next uh, representative from the Caribbean will be able to do so. Um, it really gives, I think, all of us great pleasure, and each one will speak. Um, but nine years ago, um, when a new board was formed, things looked really pretty dicey. Um, at the center financially and in, in uh, many other ways. And um, I, I have had various associations in my life and not all of them I can say I, I leave with a certain amount of satisfaction. But in this particular one I can say with a great deal of satisfaction. Um, we all know of course of the great example and the vision that uh, Malimo Jujas Nereri had in setting up this center as an independent think tank um, of the South. And uh, I think that we, we, we can say without being um, immodest that, that the center is, is, is now fulfilling uh, that mission in so many ways, trade and development, innovation and access to knowledge, climate change, global governance. And uh, I would like to uh, take the opportunity especially to commend the work of our present chairman, President uh, Makapa, for the tremendous leadership, uh, the way in which he has helped to inspire confidence in the, amongst the members of the center, and in the most recent appointment of the uh, executive director, Martin Corr, and his extremely dedicated and hard-working staff. And it, it has shown that uh, a small amount can uh, make a, 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 a big difference. In, in, in Jamaica, we say you have a big tree, but you can cut it down with a small axe. And with a very, very small number of staff, the, the center is making a big difference. So uh, it gives me great pleasure to have had the opportunity to serve as a member of the board and more recently as vice chairman of the board. And I thank you for the opportunity for serving in that way. Thank you all very much. Thank you. There's a small gift I think that the center wants to give you, sir. To remember us by. <laughs> Next to Mr. Ocampo. I have a reason for the order. <laughs> no, thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Chairman, and you know, ambassadors, uh, 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 country representatives, and uh, members of the staff. I, uh, I also, you know, m very much uh, uh, wanted to uh, to say that uh, it, it has been a really great experience uh, being here, uh, starting from. A very difficult situation. We were elected members uh, to the current uh, situation. I think the uh, uh, the leadership of President Kappa uh, and, and prior to him, you know, Boudrous Gadi, uh, former Secretary General of the UN, uh, it had, was a you know turning point for this organization. Uh, and I also want to congratulate Martin Cole and, and his capacity to bring uh, really good people around the center, uh, which I think has strengthened the, the work of the center in a very significant way. Uh, I, I really miss these meetings uh, uh, of, the, of the board, not only because of what happens in the board itself and what we discuss, but I must say that uh, one of the most enjoyable uh, things uh, of this board is the opportunity to, uh, to talk with so many, uh, you know, people from all around the developing world who have lots of things to teach. Uh, you know, I enjoy the discussions on Africa, the discussions on Asia. You know, uh, I mean, in, in Latin America and the Caribbean, we discuss that issue, those issues uh, you know, very frequently, but uh, I, I don't have the opportunity to discuss. And I must say, um, in relation uh, to Africa, to many of the issues of Africa, uh, I am, 
I have the sense that we get misinformed, and I guess that the same thing is true, <laughs> true, uh, true of Asia. Uh, you know, we get really misinformed by the international press. Uh, so that it is really good to have had the opportunity to listen to to some people who are you know on the ground and know the uh, the issues, and, and I learned a lot from them uh, during these uh, years. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank you. sir. Okay, thank you very much. You can never forget us. <laughs> <laughs> now is the turn for Mr. Asad, special advisor. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. Martin, colleague, distinguished ambassadors. It's indeed been a pleasure for me a career Iranian multilateral diplomat to have had the opportunity <coughs> to work with the South Center, as indicated by Norman, and also with Antonio in quite hard days back in 2002. And we have gone through quite some tough times, but now it seems that we have come to a rather easy phase under your chairmanship. Mr. President, and also Martin, and the work of everybody. I have found the experience enriching. I have learned a lot, and I have enjoyed it. And as a multilateral diplomat, I remain as confident in the desirability and utility of multilateralism. And I believe the center is serving a great purpose in providing the service that it has done, it is and it will continue to do for the South proper. I really look forward to cherish the great memories and the experience of these years. With this, I thank you, Mr. Chairman, Martin, and everybody, and even if we may not be all of us, four of us, of course, it will come to chief, the lad and as the senior of us all, to say the final word. But I'm sure all of us will miss the South Center, even if we may remain and we will remain connected from afar. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Now, finally, he said, uh, Bagger said, finally, the chief. You know, whenever I meet him, I always say, chief, I bow and tremble before my chief. <laughs> I usually say, I have heard you before you speak. <laughs> this is one time I haven't heard you before. So this is your time. <laughs> well, Mr. Chairman, our dear president, Ben and Kappa, my colleagues on the board, the E.D. Martin Corr, distinguished ambassadors who are here. In my part of the world, I would say, Your Excellencies. <laughs> the problem about speaking last is that all the things that one wanted to say <laughs> have been said. <laughs> Um, when the idea of this reception and this occasion was mooted, my personal preference was that our Vice Chairman, Norman Gavin, should speak for all of us, because I was sure that he would say all the things that we would all have wanted to say. And indeed, he has said all the things that uh, I would have liked to say. But let me simply add that... Um, when I first came to this board about nine years ago, the board and the center was, to be very frank, in a very, very precarious state. There was a time when some of us began to wonder how much longer we could keep this place going. And those of you who were members of the council will remember that period when uh, 
things were really difficult. But as it happens, thanks to the rejuvenation that the centre had by having our chairman as the chairman of the board, helped also by the good fortune of the centre in having Martin Corr as the ED. The place is now in a manner of speaking, really booming in the sense of the services that it's rendering to our different governments. Coming from Africa, I could say that on one of the most burning issues of this time, that's the EPA, the Economic Partnership Agreement, which our uh, Friends from Europe have been trying to push down the throats of us in Africa. This center has been singularly effective in helping African countries to read between the lines of the EPA agreement, in helping them to see what the motivation behind it all is. And uh, uh, for that, I think we could never say thank you enough to the South Centre. Now, of course, the finances of the Centre look much, much better <coughs> than they did not too long ago. But I say this not with a view to encouraging any complacency feeling, <laughs> because we still need more support for the Centre. We still need more commitment to the center by the member governments. Um, if I may uh, wonder aloud here, some of my private wonders, it's been that governments seem unable to contribute twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars $25,000 a year to this center, which is rendering this service. I cannot begin to understand why that should be difficult for governments that recognize the value of the work of the center, for governments that proclaim their commitment and support to the center. And so, those of you distinguished ambassadors who are here, <coughs> whose governments have not been contributing, allow me the indulgence of using this my farewell speech to say to you all, this is the time to demonstrate in practical terms your government's commitment and support to the South Center. And so, <clears throat> these are my last words as a member of the board. I'd like you to remember me for that, for saying to you, please, please, please transform your spoken support into practical support with finances with this center badly needs. It's been a joy for me to have been associated with the center for the last nine years. Like uh, my colleagues who've spoken before me said, it's been a wonderful experience interacting with colleagues on the board and occasionally interacting with those of you who are representatives of your member countries. This I will miss when I leave. This I will also want to remember for a long time. The center has a very, very important mission for all our countries, for the developing world. And the challenge which you all have is to make that mission realizable. I thank you very much. Again, a little symbol for you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Chief, for those, for especially for that stirring appeal for funding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good at that kind of thing, so I thank you very much. But really, um, I have little more to add except to say thank you to the members that are retiring.
We shall really miss you. I mean, the chemistry on this board is like no other board that I have served on, or chair even. And uh, we'll miss you greatly. We hope that your replacements will try to aspire to our great achievements. But I and some of my friends on the board are still thinking that we must make use of you. That's why we've given the you that parting gift. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be surprised when we approach you yet again <laughs> at our fellow meetings. And now for the final word from the power behind the throne in the South Center. Martin Cole. Thank you very much. What would we do without you? You have transformed not only the finances but even the agenda of the center. And I can assure you that for this remaining time of my service as chair, I shall give you all the support uh, that I can. Especially as I am a retired president. You know, at home, they don't call me president in Kappa. They want to emphasize that I'm no longer president. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mike, if you bear that in mind. <laughs> Thank you, President of Kappa. <laughs> who is also chairman of Kappa. <laughs> I want to give the opportunity for very brief uh, remarks, very informal from our other existing board members, Minister Lee, P. Park, and uh, Leticia, if you would like to do so. Can I invite Minister Lee and then P. Park, please? <laughs> Well, thank you, Mr. President, former president, <laughs> as well as a friendly president, all the time. And thank you, Mr. Executive Secretary, my friend Ms. Martin, and dear colleagues. For those who are leaving, I want to say, your absence will be a saddening factor for me. We'll be missing you. However, the happy memory of your good work and contribution to the center will be always encouraging to us who will go on working for the center, for the common interests of developing countries. In China, we have a saying, official titles such as uh, chairman, president, minister, ambassador, and so on and so forth will only be something temporary. A chairman could be in due time, a former chairman, an ambassador in due time will be a former ambassador. However, a friend will always be a friend. Let's remember our friendly, uh, well, working together and remain friends no matter where you are. So I wish you, those who are leaving, all the best, uh, including the best Chinese New Year. <laughs> the coming year of China will be a year of uh, a rabbit, which uh, in our culture, a symbol of wisdom. So I wish all of us who are leaving, all who are re remaining, uh, even wiser in the year to come, and of course, stronger and more energetic. Thank you. I mentioned that our last uh, board meeting in July was in China, and we had a great time in Beijing, in uh, Nanjing, where we had the board meeting, and also in Shanghai, where we saw the, the expo. And uh, not least, we also had a very good announcement from the Minister of Foreign Affairs when we were in Beijing that China will make a special extra contribution of uh, one million dollars to the center that is uh, half a million for this year and half a million for next year for our operations. So things are looking up and we thank you very much Minister Lee for helping to facilitate this. I want to invite Leticia who as she said is very lonely in the board as the only <laughs> woman. <laughs> I'm not so lonely now. So we'll have more women on the next board. And we also had the very good news from the Philippines uh, ambassador that he has uh, offered uh, to host the next uh, board meeting in uh, the Philippines, thanks to Leticia. So a few words. Uh, thank you, Martin. Mr. Chairman, 
my colleagues in the board, uh, Martin, your excellencies of the diplomatic corps. Um, well, this is a sad occasion, I think, for the members of the board to see some of the heavyweights leave. And uh, I'd like to say what a pleasure it has been to um, be associated with them. You know, I really never knew what that word think tank really means because it used so often. But it was when I came to the South Center that I realized how important a think tank really is. Because I think you are meeting uh, in front of you tonight some, of, some very profound thinkers and analysts who are at home both in the uh, North and South, but who uphold the rights and opportunities of the developing countries. So I think the center is uh, going to play a more important role in the future as it defines for the developing countries the great opportunities which await them if they only believe in themselves as self-reliant and uh, independent and confident uh, entities. So I wish all of our colleagues the very best. I'm sorry you won't be coming to Manila, but as uh, the chairman says, there will be other ways of seeing you again, perhaps. And uh, we wish you well, and thank you again for your wonderful contribution to South-South cooperation. Thank you. Without me as the head of a think tank, I am sometimes thinking and always thanking everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I would like to invite Deepak Naya, our board member, to say a few words. Well, enough has been said, I think. <laughs> but, Mr. Chairman, my colleagues on the board, Martin, distinguished guests, ambassadors, in fact, the only people who are never former, whatever they are, are ambassadors and generals. So some of you are in a special category. Um, as Norman said, we lived through turbulent times, impossible times, difficult times, for many years. Uh, when we first came to the center, it came much later than the four of my colleagues who are leaving. Uh, we're going to miss them. And in many ways, even if institutions are larger than individuals, individuals make an enormous difference to institutions. And our four colleagues who are leaving us from the board, that is, made that enormous difference. Uh, the chief, with his wisdom and sagacity, um, Norman, with his uh, you know, clarity and candor, um, Jose Antonio, with his uh, intellect and engagement. Uh, and Baker, he said it himself, his commitment to multilateralism. Um, I think we will miss them. Uh, I'm delighted that they are leaving in better times, even if not in good times. Uh, and uh, I am convinced that this is not an end of our association with them or their engagement with the South Center. That, we hope, will continue for years to come, and we will find innovatively ways of, of sustaining that. Thank you very much, and I wish you well. Of course, we have to get the member states to uh, respond. So each of you will have to say something. <laughs> OK, no, we have to eat. So I want to welcome uh, Mr. Minty, Abdul Minty, who is uh, from South Africa. He is the vice uh, convener, and uh, as the vice convener, he will also be chairing the meeting of the council on uh, Wednesday. So on behalf of the member states, may I invite you to say a few words. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. <coughs> Well, I don't want to say much because uh, the member states here have had an appeal made to them by the chief. <laughs> and it's not good to uh, not respond positively to a chief, uh, certainly not in Africa. <laughs> uh, the African states will have to set the example, I think, for the rest of us, so that we can write to the chief to say that his statement had another positive effect. Yeah, yeah. 
and uh, we had an important Asian country that uh, gave us this additional grant recently. But uh, honestly, friends, if you look at the list of members and the contributions, and if others who we have to engage see that, then they may on the basis of that not take us very seriously. Because they may think that our commitment is lacking. I'm not just saying this uh, because we need money, but uh, to be a member of something means a commitment. And uh, I think the work that Moanimo did and uh, all of us are trying to carry out requires that we retain the dignity of that exercise and that all member states assist. We have a remarkable team of workers here. And they're not just staff or employees, they are genuine workers who work round the clock. Uh, some doing work for two or three people. And uh, we have for the first time got to a situation where we're not taking money from the capital fund, which has been depleted over the years. So I think that in terms of the human beings that we have, uh, we really have people that we cherish and, and cannot replace very easily because that commitment is very difficult to find. So I hope that if we do get more resources and the team we have and any others that we may be able to employ, we'll be able to do more work. Because for the developing world, we're facing a very uncertain world. It's also a very dangerous world because developments can move in a way in which we can be trapped because of the power relationships that exist. And this is why we need the South Center, I think, more than we ever did. Thank you. So on behalf of the Secretariat, may I say uh, what a pleasure it is to work with the board, uh, but especially with all of you in Geneva. We bring you here very often to, uh, to discuss so many things, the next meeting in WTO, the next meeting in WIPO, how you can enter into the EPA negotiations. You are the life and blood of the center our friends and colleagues in Geneva, and through you we get into the capitals and hope to influence policies for the coordinated good of the center. I want to express thanks also to my staff. They are really very hardworking, as uh, Abdul Minti said, some of them are doing the work of two or three people, and we are driven uh, by the cause of the South, that we want to strengthen the South, but we are inspired also by our chairman, board members, and especially by all of you who are there. So we hope that we will have a very good year ahead, and may I encourage you to come to our workshop on Wednesday morning, and of course to the council meeting uh, in the afternoon. We are so sorry to keep you from the food and from talking to each other, which I hope you will now uh, resume. Thank you again. Thank you.